Hey guys, welcome to Kanni's classes concept simplified just for you. This is UGC NET GRF home science series and let's see 10 MCQs part 1 in textiles and apparel designing which is unit 3 and 4 in NET home science syllabus. If you are preparing for NET exam and seeing this channel for the first time then immediately subscribe to Kanni's classes and press the bell icon nearby to get notified whenever I post a video because you are going to get more and more useful study materials for NET exams here. Also join my telegram channel for simplified notes and FB and Insta pages for regular updates about the NIT exam. Do like and share with your friends and also comment how you feel about this video. Come let's move on to the MCQs. First question, jute is called a silver fiber, copper fiber, golden fiber or aluminum fiber. This is a very direct question. We all know jute is called golden fiber because of its color that is the appearance and high cash value. Second question, what test is performed to check the composition of the fiber? Feeling test, burning test, density test or visual inspection? See in feeling test what we do is that we will touch the fabric or fiber and with that we can know the texture of the fiber and by visual inspection you can know the appearance of the fiber. Density test is usually done to know the weight of the fiber or the fabric and in burning test what they use is that they usually take a piece of cloth or fiber and they burn it and while burning if it catch fire easily then it is called cellulose fiber that is made up of cellulose that is a type of uh, starch like substance. The example for cellulose fiber are cotton, linen and jute and if the fiber smolder and burn and in that case it will burn slowly with no smoke. So it is it may be a protein fiber that is a wool or silk. So only burning test is done to check the composition of the fiber. The answer is burning test. Third question. Novelty yarns produce fabrics with interesting and decorative surface effects. Coarse spin threads provide greater cover and opacity, better insulation. See I have made a video on textile terminologies. I will give, give the link in the i button above. You can click that and view that video where I have given the definitions for basic textile terminologies. In that I have mentioned about novelty yarns also. Novelty yarns are nothing but the fancy yarns and we know fiber when the twist pani da yarns panuon teriyo and the yarns when they, when they give irregular twist at equal intervals it will produce a fancy yarn. And when we make a fabric with this fancy yarn, it will give a beautiful surface effect to the fabric. So the answer is novelty yarns produce fabrics with interesting and decorative surface effects. The next question, the applique work in Odisha is known as Kanta, Pipli, Bandas or Sujani. See Kanta is a type of embroidery, we all know that it, it is originated in West Bengal. And Sujani is also a type of uh, uh, embroidery work, but it will be more similar to Kanta. But the difference is that they will make the embroidery uh, so intricate and so nearby, very thick panni or quilt work mari panidvanga. That is Sujani. It is originated in Bihar. And Bandas and Pipli both are the traditional textile of Odisha. But the difference is that Bandas is not an applique work. They will make the difference in weaving. Weaving panamoda before weaving itself, they will make the yarn in tie and dye method. Tie and dye method la yarn panita. They will make the difference in the weaving and they will make the bandas kind of work. And pipli is the applique work, and we get the name pipli from the village where they have made it first. And what they will do in pipli is that they will cut different uh, color and different type of fabric and they will stitch them together and they will make a applique kind of work. So we call it as Pipli Applic. The answer is Pipli. Question number 5. Which printing method will you suggest to your friend for printing a sheet on both sides simultaneously? The options are screen printing, duplex printing, photographic and transfer printing. If you have studied the types of screen printing, you could have answered this question by this time. When we discuss, we can say screen printing is where we will have a frame in that we will have uh, many designs with uh, minute holes in that. When we place that frame over a fabric and uh, we pour color over that and we press, the design will be transferred to the fabric. It will be more like stenciling. 
and photographic printing is where we transfer the real photographs to the fabric transfer printing is where there will be designs already made and those designs will be applied to the fabric by applying heat duplex printing and roller printing are more similar in roller printing what we will do is that we will pass the sheet or fabric through uh, rolls that is a cylindrical type of uh, uh, thing and uh, what will happen is that the design will get transferred to the sheet uh, the difference between roller and duplex is that in duplex printing the design will be transferred to both sides either side of the fabric or sheet will be printed with the design that is duplex printing the answer for fifth question is duplex printing sixth question which scissor cuts the leather with an ease electric scissor button hole scissor pinking scissor or rotary cutter electric scissor cannot be the option button hole scissor the name itself says that it is used to make the button holes that is what we make like kaja adala pandrola ade pinking scissor is otherwise called zigzag scissor so as name says when you cut they will give a zigzag effect decorative avum use pannalam apdi illena what they will help is that when we cut in a zigzag way it will help to prevent the raveling of the threads that is and the nool pirinj varada vandu adu vandu prevent pannum the last one is rotary cutter this cutter is used for uh, cutting a heavy fabric like leather or sometimes what they will use is that and mari ready made blouses or ready made fabric panumbodhu they will have standard measurements so they will use this type of cutter to cut 50 or 100 fabrics at a time so rotary cutter is the scissor that cuts the leather with an ease seventh question which among the following is said to be the function of sewing machine darting hemming binding piping all of the above we all know darting is a kind of a, a, a stitch which is done by folding the cloth it will give a pleat like appearance to the fabric which will add ease to the fabric and also add beauty to the fabric hemming is done to finish the raw edges of the fabric by stitching them and binding is also done to close the raw edges of the fabric only but the difference is that we will use a different kind of fabric different colored fabric so that it will give a decorative effect also piping is done to finish the raw edges of the fabric only but here they will give a cylindrical kind of effect pipe like effect you could have done in your blouses or any frocks or gowns to give the piping effect so all these can be done with a sewing machine the option is all of these question number 8 match the finishes given in list 1 with their purpose given in list 2 in list 1 they have given a set of process like singeing scouring tentering calendaring kuduttaanga and uh, uh, what is that process is mean by abingiratha and list 2 la kuduttaanga we can make a smart guess edavadhu one illa rendu ku namak answer therinjirna adha vechi we can easily crack the answer see calendaring it's a very familiar one calendaring iradhu onnu illa industrial kind of pressing ironing the cloth in a industrial method so where we get a smooth surface so the answer for d is 2 and the scouring is also a familiar one it is used in the manufacture of wool we remove uh, the desizing products pectin and wax from the wool by the process of scouring so the answer for b should be 3 in that case the answer can be 4 to 1 that is 5 3 4 2 4 so now singeing is burning of the raised fiber ends scouring is removal of desizing products pectin and wax from the wool tentering can be mechanical straightening process and calendaring is the process where we get the smooth surface question number 9 calendaring is the mechanical finishing process used to remove the stiffness make it soft and lustrous flatten and close the thread of the fabric to give a smooth appearance the options are 1 and 2 1 and 3 or 2 and 3 or all of these see calendaring is a process where the a bulk of uh, fabric is pressed or ironed so uh, what happen in calendaring is that the process remove the stiffness it make the fabric soft and lustrous and uh, soon after weaving the there may be so gaps in between the threads so it flatten and close the thread of the fabric and give a smooth appearance so the option is all 1 2 and 3 that is all of these question number 10 a 
Assertion A. Cotton is most appropriate fabric for infant wear. The reason they give for this is, cotton is the most absorbent, washable and breathable fabric. The options are, A and R are correct, A and R are incorrect, A is correct but R is incorrect, A is incorrect but R is correct. See, this is a very simple and direct question and everyone can answer this correctly. The answer is both A and R are correct because we all know for an infant cotton cloth is most preferable because it is more absorbent and washable and also a breathable fabric. And with this we come to the end of this video. Also I have made two more MCQ discussion in food and nutrition chapter. You can click the i button above and learn those MCQs also. Don't forget to subscribe to Kani's classes and press the bell icon nearby so that you will get a notification whenever I post a video. Join my telegram channel to get simplified notes for net home science syllabus and follow my FB page and Insta page to get updates on net exams. If you find this video really useful then click the like button, share with your friends and also comment your feedback and suggestions. So see you all in next video friends. Bye for now. Thank you.